Sefer Films. And that's it. I think my Desert Island album, I'd love to be fucking stuck in a Desert Island, man. Uh, but I think uh, it's uh, Holy Bible by Manix, man. That's my Desert Island album. Oh, man, I'm struggling with this. You're on a Desert Island forever, man, on your Todd with Wee Wilson or something. And a CD player in one CD. Honestly? Well, put it this way. First thing that came to my mind. First thing that came to my mind. First thing that came to my mind. Carry on up the charts by Beautiful South. It's the first CD that was ever given to me as a small person, and I loved it. And see, even to this day, if it comes on a shuffle and I hear like sail this ship or whatever it is, I'm like, take it right back. I just cut my trash. That was my first album. Their answers are well cool and I'm just like, you know, Paul Heaton. <laughs> he's, he's amazing. Because there are tracks that are animalistic, quite aggressive in your face, then the juxtaposition to that is the fact that the tunes that start off quite, quite mellow, Circles Roman being one of them. Ambient and it gives a nice sweet ambient feel, and we just like to kind of juxtaposition between ambient and animal. So, this is good, I'll answer this anyway. Yeah, I'm like plaster scene, so therefore, living in that environment with these people and this fucking air that I'm breathing and everything, it's just making me fucking mold and a bit of plaster scene, I'm just like that. Let's go! <laughs> Every day I'm like fucking let's go! And that's Everclyde for you. Let's go! Everclyde's awesome man, it's full of fucking real folk. There's yeah, no I mean, music scene. It, there's fucking not up. any music, but there's hundreds of awesome bands yeah. in Everclyde man. But there's no scene in Everclyde. But it used to be years ago. You place like Migos. Exactly. Um, but that's died a death. My favourite fucking thing about Everclyde is just the people, man. Like, some of them you want to avoid. Some of them you think are fucking awesome, but you still want to avoid. And, uh, like, I don't know, it's just for the real folk, man. We come you know from, me, me and Dad come from Port, Port Glasgow. Glasgow, man. Port Glasgow is where it's Everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody. It's and it's fucking awesome. It's a good it's, thing and a bad thing. It's got its good and its bad points, but overall, man, the main thing is, like, people look good for each other, man. You've got your bams. But I mean, it's, it's full of real dudes. I know, I, I, I have a with that. People are real. If it's good, it's good. If it's shite, it's shite. You know what I mean? Call a spade a spade. Aye, man. That's, uh, and do you know what? Sure. As I said, you drop. And then you're from the other thing. And it was good to just be able to actually fucking hear, hear the tracks recorded really well. Nice to see stuff come together. Aye man, exactly. It's one thing in the, in the practice room, but it's totally different when you're in a studio and you're hearing it back. Fucking huge. And uh, James is good at yeah. what he fucking does as well. James McKenzie, Sound Shape, Studio is green up. It's brilliant, you know what I mean? So. I actually enjoyed that on a personal note, doing Twisted Fairy Tale. Why? Because we discovered the. Doing harmonies over <laughs> a certain point. Over Dub Central. And then we just. I don't know who, who's the decision was, Mike, Mike or whoever. They might try the, the, the high, clean style backing vocal. And I think that just pure bloomed that wee bit right into life. That was, it was, it was good. Yeah, it, was, it was quite funny as well. Yeah. It was quite weird because doing that track, I was done the like, first thing in it. Sunday morning. It was literally like 10 o'clock in the morning. I was like, no, I mean, so it was good, man. It was good. And it came together really good as well. After like a million takes. And a lot of fuck ups. There's a million takes to have you dropped in three takes. The vlogger, you Well, David. I was only going to be one. Do you think my thing is liability? Who's the most likely to get arrested? 
Not for being a dick, man. <laughs> <laughs> for doing things like drinking in the street. But just for like... Sharing about toys. Not how major. Just for maybe... <laughs> like if, if I get told not to do something... Sometimes... Like... I should really... I've just got issues with authority. Well, I, do appre I do appreciate good advice. And you like, sometimes I don't. Of you. I accept Someday that. Someday I okay. will walk up with David Black. Can I see a ticket, please? Oh, what are you actually looking for? You <laughs> drink it. I bought my drink. I paid for it. I went through the barrier. Gang, I need to show you my ticket. You're Tory. Fuck uh, Brexit. <laughs> well, I can answer that one. Yeah, because it's fucking a nice balance of of everything, man. Like. So from songwriting, I mean, fucking, there'll be, folk, there'll be areas where, like, fucking each person will come in at their own, do you know what I mean? Like, Lee is fucking big with the lyrics, I don't do any lyrics between these two, I've got loads, do you know what I mean? But, as far as the songwriting goes, it's fucking between the three of us, man. And that doesn't, it's never really been like that in other bands, so it's, it's good, do you know what I mean? And it, that's, for me, that's, that's what's different, and that's what I like most about the Super Pumas, man. I like what I It's fucking. Sorry, Jim, but you're not just agreeing with somebody. Let's hear your answer. The Super so, so Pianos was an uh, 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 opportunity to. Uh, but we hadn't played in a band for about three years before we joined the Super Pianos, had we? So no, we had. We had. We, we had. 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 We so, so it was an opportunity for us to put forward our ideas, which we hadn't really done in previous bands, had we? Had, we had always um, took kind of, ideas. Kind of, kind of, kind of Aye. Back, back of we had band members. Aye, yeah. to... yeah. we played um, a part, but uh, it wasn't like there was not as much ownership as there is now. Anyway, we, I think we've all, we've, all got, we've all got an input, which 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 almost wasn't always the case. Yeah. Um, which I was happy in previous bands to kind of take a back seat. Songwriting and stuff like that, but it's nice to actually contribute something and hear an idea coming together. What kind of input do you have? Well, I think it's quite interesting because we all, well, maybe not we all, but personally I come from a, a different world from, to these guys. What these, planet is that? that planet would be <laughs> uh, Peter Pop Tastic, fucking fabulous. Do you know what I mean? However, what I would say is, I've always came from a, a, a melody-driven background, been in like a kind of mod, soul bands, written songs, jazzy songs, all these other sort of concepts. However, where I started off my musical taste was very much heavier stuff, like Corn and Mama Mans and stuff not. So I've actually been able to kind of revisit that. To, uh, to it's, the extent we're not like those bands. It's a good band, what you're saying is, is like fucking, you, you are a pop-tastic master. Whereas any band that we've been in before, which is a lot, that we've kind of had an anti-music approach to that, do you know what I mean? Like fucking deliberately rough. So it's like that is just totally crossed. And what's in the middle of that fucking cross is where we are. That's, that's, that's what, what Super Pimas is. It's like the, kinda, the background of these two guys, where it's like raw, punk, edgy, that sort of element. And then I'm coming in with like the fucking sprinkle, fucking unicorns and shit, do you know what I mean? But it meant it makes for a fucking the gym <laughs> famous, you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's why it's pure heavy fantastic. Quite a pub. Quite a pub. And then I'll play club. I don't know, it's just tricky man. I, I don't think I like loud clubs anymore, but so I've not been in one for so long that I would like to be in one. <laughs> uh, I probably quite a quiet pop band. Could be anywhere. You two start. Um, I could go on all night. I don't really like answering these kind of questions, man. Because uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? They just fucking come. It's a melody. Uh, uh, for me, no. it's like I got a wee melody in my I'm a bit got a wee vocal line in my head and I'll play chords along with a vocal line. Do you like um, patch that question with? No, 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 it's no. not a good uh, <laughs> it's, No, I mean, it's, uh, like, for me, like, it's quite it's quite interesting this band because I'll write a, a song from start to finish and I tend to be a case that I'll pick up a guitar, I'll find a chord, just a chord progression will happen, it's like falls out the sky, and then from that then I, the melody will come, and then I can just follow on from there. 
it's quite interesting this band because like Div will come up with like really good like uh, riffs and guitar parts. Gem Circles Roman being an example will come up with like the kind of the bulk of the start of that tune. That was but potentially it, two tunes. Yeah, but then it allows me to um. then send it to me and then I'll go like okay so then I'll put my sensibilities on top of it and I'll come out like okay so let's get a big chorus in this and then that's the super viewers really yeah, it. It's, kind of it's a very, it's, we, we've always been, it's a, it's a good paper. It's always been a good paper. It's beautiful. It's fucking. Yeah, it's beautiful man. Well I've just finished binge watching Vikings which is absolutely that's tremendous. Great, Honestly, I think it was you that said to me about it, and then I was like, right, okay, we'll watch it, and then Ashley, my, my wife, she said about it, and then the next minute, next minute, <laughs> you're right in it, that like four seasons cost. deep, and you're like, man, just that would be a Viking. Right. So Vikings, for me. Uh, I've, I've been watched to fuck House of Cards, I'm nearly finished it, man. It's fucking awesome. And as much as Kevin Spacey's a fucking creepy bastard. Pedo! A little longer than a few minutes later. I've been watching a lot of documentaries about child abuse and watching that. Fuck Kelly. Escaping or surviving R. Kelly and I've watched Escaping Fucking Neverland. I'm depressed about it on it, you know. Fucking. See if you're wrong. Uh, you know, but you, you generally, I just been watching Game of Thrones there, a nice fucking. <laughs> You rated you know, incest right? related TV show that's, that's acceptable. But Jim's, uh, beautiful, Jim's beautiful message is sitting right there. Right? Uh, <laughs> binge watch porn. <laughs> I was on Pornhub for two weeks. Right? <laughs> Solid. And it was just fucking steam that came out of the end of it. I've been through so three just... laptops. <laughs> it was like fucking. <laughs> Should we cut that one out? Clean up your you know, knobs you know. if you've sanded a table then. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. I binge watch Pongo. Ah, why I swallowed a full sausage. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it's a good story actually. Fucking on the way back for the band practice, I think I was about 16 oh, or 17. <laughs> I was fucking. So what Seagull the sausage, but carry on. Uh, well, we smoked right up. We were wondering, something funny happened. I can't remember what it was. I had bought a single sausage, right? It was had gravy on it, it was slooped right, <laughs> it was slooped right up with fucking gravy, right? And I was about to take a bite as you do, and something funny happened. And I went, <laughs> and the whole thing went, defied gravity, went up and down. I never even tasted the bastard. And um, see, even to this day, right, I wouldn't remember it, but my best mate, right, Stu, he's seen it. <laughs> and he's clarified that it happened. And it uh, gets brung up from time to time. I fucking yeah. love it, man. It's Stu had a gay Stu, Stu had a kind of a, a gay pal in uni, man. And uh, <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this, there this guy wanted to dreaming. meet me so much. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not sort of can do with Will. We're not going to put the gay bit out, right? But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 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 so there we go. There's a wee tank, and they use flying <laughs> <laughs> sausages. Do you know how it beats smiling sausage? Nah, Jim. Let's hear it. You've got something. Everyone does. Mario, I get a special time. So <laughs> Decisiveness. Yeah. Matt Maddie's telling me something. Well, Jim's thinking, Lee. Special skill, special talent. Uh, I can fucking rip like, uh, uh, an apple in half. What, just with your horns? My bare horns, half are you, an apple. Are you sure? You seem quite different. I forgot I could do that shit. I, I, can, I, can, I can half an apple. Wait, just lads. <laughs> I can do that, I'll demonstrate it later, we'll catch, we'll do another video later on, maybe a bag of apples and I'm going to half them all. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm going to half every apple in this place. Um, what about you? <laughs> honestly, every talent I've got, I will tell you about. I'm not shy. There's nothing hidden. Any yeah, special hidden talents, no. you know? So... Tell us, man. <laughs> I write songs. I stop with cheat bag. I don't know. What's how we talent this new to see on stage? Okay, I'm f that motherfucker. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> back in the studio. <clears throat> Aye, we're about to be recording. Again soon. Yeah, back in the studio in the summer. Three next three months, I'd say we got the studio recording. We'll have an EP out by September. That's post-haven, but do you know what? 
the tunes are there. We've well, been raising your season, eh? Yeah. Yep. So, exactly. Yeah, no, but so the thing exactly. is, the tunes are there. We've, we've got a, a massive catalogue of tunes recorded already, but we've also got such a massive backlog of tunes that we're ready to kind get of out to people. <laughs> so, next step is keep gigging, keep getting these guys like, maybe slightly better, like keep the better gigs getting better, and then performing better, performing live better. It's just, it's just from that. So I just try and um, try and email. It's an upward trajectory. Upward and beautiful. That's what nice. That's what's nice. Hi man. Upward. Anything we promise is as well. It's like we're the next thing for us is to do more and do better. But <clears throat> the best thing about this band is it's fucking no pressure, man. Who's fucking putting time scales on shit? We're the kind of the fucking like cast, you know what I mean? So like we'll nobody. do what we want when we want. Exactly, and when we can. And that's, that's the main thing, because if you start putting time frames on shit, and I might feel under pressure or fucking Jim or Lee or whatever, and then that fucking puts the whole thing that we thrive on, which is balance and harmony, like that, that fucks that up completely, do you know what I mean? And it, well, you don't ever want your band to feel like a stress. It's stressful enough, man. Do you know what I mean? So it will just get better, right? That's the we're like, thing we're a well balanced, you know. I will, but we, we, we know each other's circumstances. We appreciate it. We respect it. We work with it. And at the end of the day, we the track stuff. And it will, it's only going to get better. Yeah. Fucking yeah, do you like that? Bitch. Uh, <laughs>